Earlier, the White House dismissing a question about the conflict between President Biden's Catholic faith and support for abortion rights. Listen to this. He believes that it's a woman's right, it's a woman's body, and it's her choice. Why does the president, he, who does he believe then should look out for the unborn child? He believes that it's up to a woman to make those decisions uh, and up to a woman to make those decisions with her doctor. I know you've never faced those choices, nor have you ever been pregnant, but for women out there who have faced those choices, this is an incredibly difficult thing. The president believes their rights should be respected. Go ahead. I think we got to move on. I think we have to move on. You've had plenty of time today. All right, and that heated exchange, as you saw, coming as the Supreme Court upheld, at least for the moment, a Texas law that is banning abortions after six weeks or if a heartbeat is detected. Joining us now to discuss is Archbishop Salvatore Cordelione, Archbishop of San Francisco. Archbishop, thank you so much for coming on. As you know, a president, a commander-in-chief of a nation, one of the most powerful nations, if not the most powerful, uh, depending on which country you ask, uh, is under a lot of scrutiny. And we know that this president has publicly pronounced that he is a devout Catholic. Um, yet he just commented for, for, um, earlier moments ago uh, saying that he does support Roe v. Wade. He respects everyone's decision, but he doesn't agree with it. He agrees with Roe v. Wade, the right for women to choose to have an abortion or not. From a Catholic perspective, how do you read that? Is that acceptable in the church? Uh, there's a lot of cognitive dissonance going on here. Uh, this is, uh, first of all, this issue is not something that's religiously specific. It's not a religious doctrine. It's a matter of fundamental human rights, and a fundamental moral issue, and uh, religions um, on fundamental issues of justice reinforce it with their teaching, but it's not something denominationally specific. So Catholics uh, affirm fundamental human rights. We're against killing innocent human beings. We're in favor of supporting women in crisis pregnancy situations. The solution is never violence. Violence begins, begets violence. Uh, the solution is love, surrounding her with love and support. So uh, one, I don't know how one can claim to be a devout Catholic uh, when our church supports fundamental human rights and yet uh, take positions opposing fundamental human rights. And that can get confusing for someone watching uh, the president of the United States to, to proclaim that he's Catholic, which he's done many times. And as we saw live on air, again, 10 minutes ago, he says he supports Roe, which means he supports abortions, or woman's right to choose to have an abortion. Uh, how, do you, how do you clean up that messaging for the for the Catholic Church when you have the commander in chief who represents uh, or r rather one Catholic um, speaking against what you say is a, a, a moral obligation, not necessarily a political obligation. Yes, I, I have no doubt that on a, in his heart, he has a sort of an affectionate uh, devotion for being Catholic, that his faith is important to him. But uh, on some fundamental issues, he's He's at odds with what we know to, to be true. So uh, our role as bishops is to, to teach the faith and bear witness to the faith. I think we have to uh, teach even more emphatically and help our people understand that, uh, again, the response in these situations is not violence, it's love. All right, we'll leave it right there. Archbishop, I appreciate your time. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.